What is up boys and girls, it is Giuliano back here with a, another video and today I'm bringing you a squad builder around the man you see on your screen, Super Cedric, uh, his inform 84 rated from this team of the week, looks mad, he looks insane, but obviously he can't do it all on his own, we need a squad around him, you know you need to play, I could probably play with a full bronze team and he'd probably still be sick, but we do have to go for a squad and it is a 4-3-2-1 formation, we do start off in goal with the 83 downgrade of Jose Reyna. Reason why we downgrade is because his stats aren't that bad compared to his 84 and he's like 3k cheaper, so it just makes more sense. 80 diving, 82 reflexes, 83 handling, 82 kicking, and 82 positioning. Six foot two, and he is an absolute monster in uh, in goal. Well, I hope he's an absolute monster in goal. I'm saying that, but I really hope he is an absolute monster. Uh, two centre backs we go for are both Senegalese. We on the left hand side we go for Mboji from uh, and the team of the season, and on the other side we go for Kalido Kula Bali. Just his normal 83 card. I don't actually have any of his special cards, nor can I afford them because I'm actually a little bit poor in a minute. Uh, but his 83 card, 75 pace, 84 defending, and 86 physical with six foot five. Annoying thing is a high high work rates. That's the only downside. But he's still an absolute monster. And then Mboji. 78 pace, 85 defending, and 89 physical, 6 foot 4, medium, medium work rates, and he's just 28k. The fact that you've got that kind of pace on both players with the, with the height they are is madness. Right back, we go for an, an, an untradeable, we'll go for a Brazilian right back in Bruno Perez. And at left back, we actually go for a man in a match and a position change in uh, Najjar. He's normally a right back, gone over to left back. 84 pace, 82 dribbling, 70 shooting, 76 defending, 75 passing, and 77 physical. Five foot seven, high medium white grades. Actually got four star skill moves, which is quite nice. Um, and very, very extinct, because he costs 30K, which is top end of the price spectrum. Bruno uh, Perez, right back, 92 pace, 81 dribbling, 75 shooting, defending, 71 passing, and 75 physical. Oh, I've been booted off the EA servers, how awkward. Let me reconnect, I'll be back with you in a second. Right, so we're back after the air servers booted us off. So Bruno Perez, obviously, I did run for his stats. 92 base, 71 passing, 81 dribbling, 74 defending, and 75 physical. Not a bad looking um, defence, to be honest. At, well, first move we go for is a cam. It's um, Borja Valera. I forgot his first name for a second. Let me pop him to centre mid. 72 base, 85 dribbling, 71 shooting, and 85 passing with the five star, uh, four star skill moves as well, which is very, very nice. In the middle, we go for um, upgraded and Herrera. 72 base, 84 def uh, dribbling, 72 shooting, 70 defending, 81 passing, and 74 physical. And to join him, we go for another upgrade card in Adrisa Garner Gay. 78 pace, 72 passing, 77 dribbling, 80 defending, and 80 physical. Right forward, we go for an inform, not from the Premier League, we go for a Spaniard, we go for Aspas, uh, his right wing card from Celta Vigo, 84 pace, 89 dribbling, 86 shooting, 80 passing, and 72 physical, very nice looking card, and at left forward, we go for a 5 star skiller in Yannick Balassi, 89 pace, 84 dribbling, 68 shooting, and 79 physical, obviously 5 star skill moves, so he's an absolute monster, and we do finish off the team with the beast and the man of the episode, Cedric Bakambu, 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 84 shooting, 77 passing and 80 physical six foot tall medium medium work rates four star for three star skill moves. it's just 18 and a half k which is so so good for that kind of player good league not bad nationality good team come on man that's so cheap let's get into a couple of live games see how well he does and just get goals let's do it right so opponent number one has got a very sweaty premier league side it's got bottling in goal like everyone does bellerin otamendi kashelny van anholt at 83 upgrade kante he's got ericsson yaya the uh, the tournament at Sigerson and striker Sanchez along with Vardy. So a very nice team, very sweaty. Going to be a hard, uh, hard player to break down, to be honest, because it's such a good formation with such strong players. But let's get into it. Let's find out if we can do it. I believe we can. Let's get into it and let's smash it. Absolutely glided past Koscielny. Three and a half minutes in and Bakambu's already got one goal. Absolutely glided past the defender and put it so sweetly into the bottom corner on his weak foot past Jack Butland. Such a nice goal. 1-0. Oh, good save by Rayner. Straight at him to be fair, but it's still a good save. Out for a corner. He's played it short. Easily cleared. Oh, Aspas, that was so unlucky. Such nice teamwork between him and um, Balassi. So unlucky. Oh, 
Oh, Asbass definitely should put that away. This lag is horrible, though. Causing me to miss pass and miss shoot. Oh, we finally got a second. Nice bit of play by Najjar into Bacambu. Held it up beautifully. And Herrera did get himself a goal. And we have lost connection, which I'm not surprised at. The connection was dreadful. But I'm not too sure what irritated me more. The connection or the heat in my room because it's fucking boiling. But let's get into the second game. And let's get another opponent and let's get the win. Right, boys and girls, into the second game. We do go. And he's got a very, very nice league earn squad. He's got Trap in there. Aurier, uh, Timothy Sism, Marquinhos, the reward. Yanga and Biwa, Kazawa, Kukoviak. Team of the season, Buda Boos, and Selly with Team of the season, uh, Talvin at right wing. Left wing got um, Depay and striker has got Bronze. So I'm assuming he's coming off and some, some insane striker's coming on. I'm just going to wait to find out. There we go. There's the pause. Uh, and let's, let's see who it is. I'm, I'm, in, I'm intrigued. His Bronze has just gone and scored. <laughs> Oh my god, how have I let his bronze score? How have I gonna let his bronze score? Who has he brought on as, to replace him though? That's the question. Raheem Sterling. He's put Sterling, I think he's put Sterling at right wing and Dalvin up front. He's about to make it 2. He's made it 2 0 in 4 minutes. Wow. 2-0, sorry, in four minutes. Mental. Absolute mental. I'm, we're going to come back into this. I know we are. Oh, my God. This Tots Dalvin is ridiculous. Corner. Is he playing it short? He is. Ah, easily dealt with. I need that wah, wah, wah. Hit it. Because I just said he's going to clear and we've gone and fucking conceded. Oh, that was a nice little bit of play between Balassi and Bacambo. Got the ball through to Ander Herrera in the box to put it away. Pass a trap to, uh, to, to... What's the word I'm looking for? Decrease. Decrease the deficit. to 3-1. Oh, I thought I got a goal then. Ah, I, I was going to try and tramp it, but I just didn't see the opening. Oh, that was unlucky. That was a nicely, nicely orchestrated in the sense free kick routine. Just annoyingly couldn't get the ball through. Uh, got a corner out of it though, which we're going to pop in. Keeper smothers that, and that is half time. Three one down. Um, what is annoying about this game is this guy is sick when he's got the ball with Buda Boots, with Dalvin. When he's got it with Sterling, Kokoviak, um, Depay, he's shit. Like, he's so bang average, so he's obviously one of these people that's so good with obviously the OP players. So I'm hoping to exploit that, get back into this game, and uh, hopefully, maybe, win it. If not, at least draw. Oh, Aspas, that was so unlucky. That was a top little move between the team. Ah, oh, I've gone again, Dalvin. It's all he ever does is give the ball to Dalvin, so I can just expect me to concede. And that's the first chance he's had in the second half and we're in the 70th odd minute. So it just shows how pin back I can make him. But, you know, I'm not going to win this now. It's, it's a big deficit. Aspas with a beautiful free kick gets us one goal back. That was a fantastic little finish right into the top, top corner. He's got a belt of an effort on him, this boy. Look at that. What a free kick. 4 2. Not too bad. Oh, Aspas. That was unlucky. He nearly made, him, made it 4 3. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh, Bakambu, that was a lovely. All him to get that goal back. Did absolutely brilliantly. A 1-2 with Aspas. I thought I fucked up with that pass there. But, nah, easy. 4-3.
back into the game. Like anything Dalvin puts on puts on goal, it's it just goes in. Like I can see why this this league and team of the season is so expensive because they are all just the most ridiculous cards in this game. I'm annoyed I lost that game because he didn't deserve it. He wasn't a good player. He just had a ridiculous well, a striker in the end. He changed the formation to a four three four two three one, sorry. So I'm I'm pissed off at that. But Bacambo, Aspas and Herrera all got goals. Um was there nine goals somewhere? Was it? I swear I got four goals. Oh no, five three. Sorry, tell a lie. And then goal assist went to Bakambu and Aspas. As the first guy did rage quits, we're going to get into a third game. Look at that though. Seven shots, 13. Right, let's get into the third game and let's win that. Right, boys. Third and final game of the episode. He has got an incomplete Arsenal team with a couple of Arsenal legends in there. He's got obviously Czech, Bellerin, Inform Mustafi, Kassioni, Gibbs, uh, Xhaka, Inform Ramsey with Santi in the middle, which is a bit weird. Uh, he's got a legend Pires and Jumberg out wide with Alexis up top. So he's got nine of the current team and two legends with Arsene Wenger, that mopey French bastard looking over. But oh, I'm a Man United fan, so I need to beat this guy. Let's get into it. He hasn't even got Emirates. He's an Arsenal fan without Emirates. What is wrong with him? Wow, Perez. I love it. I can see you're still as good as ever. Again, Jumburg as good as ever. That was an amazing ball. That was unlucky. There was no one on the end of that. What a ball. Oh, again. Defenders beat me to it. Oh, but Cambo, that was unlucky. Check, saved it. Aspas, rebound. He saved it again. What a bastard. This boy, with the ball at his feet, is incredible. He just pushes past absolutely everyone. He is fucking incredible. I love him. He just look, he just pushes past the pace, the finish in the top bottom corner. 1 0. I love it. Oh, that was unlucky, but Lassie. And he's offside. Aspas. You're breaking my heart. The thing is, he keeps stopping and starting. Like, it's so irritating. But. To be fair, when he does play, he's not incredible. Oh, that's so close to being onside. Right, half time, 1 0 up. Five shots, five on target for me, four shots, two on target for him. Even possession, very even passing. Just because I haven't really been trying, to be honest, because he just stops and starts. It's very irritating. Although, I have to say, I keep getting really bad bouts of speed up lag in every single game I play. I want to know, do you guys suffer that as well? Because if it does, I can rest it easy. It's not my fucking internet, but. Uh, what can I do? Let's get into the second half and let's smash it. Harper oh, Cambo. He's through. Is he going to finish that? He does. He is fantastic. An absolute pleasure to play with this man. Just OP as anything. Look at that. Lovely finish. Normally those sort of things get saved, but his doesn't. 2 0. Lovely and cruising. He stopped playing, so I'm just, you know, I'm going to definitely push the ball to Bakambu. I'm 100% I'm going to do that. Just bolster his goals. Because, well, it's the start of the episode. He deserves to have lots of goals. Even if it does mean this guy's not playing. But, you know, Bakambu picks it up. Aspas could have gone for the shot. Stopped and turns. Easy finish past the keeper. And we get a rage quit. We are. We've got a rage quit to end the video, which is nice. Start with one and end with one. Ignore the middle game. But that's been the video, guys. Hope you have all enjoyed. Go try Cedric Bacambo. He is fucking incredible. For the price you're going to pay, you know, you can get a lot of strikers for him. And I, for that price, I really would recommend him. Please leave a like on the video. Please sub if you're new around here. And go down to the description below. Drop a like on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, guys. Have an awesome day. I shall see you all later. Bye.